Hello, Fight fans. Welcome to another episode of More Than a Fight Podcast. I'm your host, Jose Alfredo Alcázar. And as always, this is your co-host, Juan. And behind the camera, we have John. And this one will be dedicated to the world of MMA. We have a big card this weekend, UFC 286, all the way from London, England at the O2 Arena. Um, and we'll kick it off with the main course, right, guys? Yeah. Let's go. Here we have Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman 3 trilogy. And uh, he has to go out. Kamaru has to go out to the UK to get it going. Yeah, he wants his belt back, and Leon is a champion. So, Yeah, yeah and the first fight, what a knockout. I mean, the second I'm sorry, this yeah. the one fight. Edwards won. Man. Yeah, Edwards won the first round. He lost the next three. Mm-hmm. He looked defeated in the fifth, and that kick landed, man. It was beautiful. Well, I mean, I don't think we're going to see that again. Hey, you never know. So, how do you guys see this fight going? Tomorrow's the favorite. Tomorrow's a big favorite. Wow. Uh, but, but again, uh, Edwards has confidence, and he's fighting at home. Uh, but do you I, think that's a pro or a con that yeah, he's fighting at some home? people, it's a con. To some people, it's a pro. For Derek uh, Lewis, it's destined. Yeah, he said he doesn't <laughs> like it. He doesn't like the pressure. I, I, I'd go with Usman, though. I think Usman pulls it off. He almost fought the perfect fight from the second on until he got caught. Yeah, that's, I think what we have to remember is he got caught with a badass shot. Don't get me wrong, he can't take anything away from Leon. But Leon had to pull some shit out of his ass, you know, to win that belt. Right. What do you think, Brad? No, I think Kuzman's going to come back with a vengeance and prove that it was just a lucky, or or, sh- or he wants to prove that that was just a lucky shot that, um, Edwards landed. Uh, but I mean he's got that motivation. Edwards does of now he feels he has that um Well he knows he could beat Usman. He already beat him once. Yeah, well so. yeah, that too, but he's got the crowd behind him. He's a champion. He's finally defend he feels like he's reached that his goal, that milestone of of wanting to be a champion. So uh but that being said, I just think Usman's so good. And for Edwards to do that again. That's going to be difficult. So I'm going to go with Usman on this one. <coughs> yeah, I I think we're all in agreement that I I think he's just going to wrestle fuck. Right. You know what I mean? Don't forget that uh, Edwards took him down in the first round in the second fight. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Almost choked choked him too. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Almost got on, got on his back and almost got a choke on him. Um. So yeah, let's move on to the co-main. Justin Gaethje versus Raphael Fizzy. Well, well, I'm more excited about this fight, to be honest with you. Yeah. I will, I, they're both great fights. But this one's going to probably be the fan favorite. Fizzy right. has a favorite. Yeah. Uh, Gaethje's won every single fight he's had. He's won uh, fight of the night, right? Or bonus. Somehow, some yeah. type of bonus. Yeah. He has like 10 bonuses in seven fights or some shit. So, something dumb. Right. And... Uh, he always goes out on his shield. He's going to get caught probably. But then again, Fizzy has another animal also. So, I mean, well, can he finish him? Can, what, what happens? I think, okay, so the thing about it, Fizzy is a lot more technically sharper than Gaethje. You know, Gaethje's kind of rock him, sock him robot when he goes in there. But Fizzy, I think, is just a little bit more sharper in striking. Do you think... Uh, Gage, he brings in his wrestling, or is he too proud? No, I don't think so. Um, and that, and like, Fiziev is like one of the highest uh, takedown defense percentages. So, I don't, I don't really see it. I think Gage gets beat. I think Gage wins. I think he's going to chop his leg somehow, like he always does, and hurt him. No, you're 100% if he brings those leg kicks. <clears throat> That that would be. I think he good. will because it, there's no, he's not scared to get taken down like he was against Oliveira, mm. uh, and I think he'll 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 be throwing to the legs a lot. So I mean I mean uh, the the first round, I mean he might get knocked out in the first, but if he makes it to the second, I think he can start breaking down Fizio with those kicks. You don't think um, Gaethje's been through a lot of uh, battles and that could weigh heavily of course. on where he is now? Of course. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's scared to get hit though. Yeah, I mean but that's my point. But after such so many times being in fight after fight after fight, no fizzy, you fizzy. start to feel the punches differently. Yes, uh, fizzy is the fresher guy, you know. Yes, that's my point. Yeah. So and I mean he did knock out Bassanio, mm-hmm. you know. 
So he has power in his hands. Mm -hmm. And Dos his Anjos. kicks. Yeah, and Dos Anjos is... Gaethje's up like kind of like Dos Anjos. Been through a lot of fights. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you can see why he's the favorite. I don't know. I'm going to go with Fiz Fizia. I'm going to go with Gaethje. I'm going to go with Gaethje. Nice. Okay. Who you got, Fredo? Uh, I'm going to go with Fizia. Only because, like I said, I just think at some point, you, you being in battle after battle, it, it's going to take its toll. And that's what I think is ha going to happen to Gaethje, and unfortunately. This, and this one's one that, I mean, I was, I somehow skipped it, but John, I'm like asking John, what underdogs do you think uh, have the best chances? And he is right. But I think Barbarina is uh, a good bet here. I think he's plus 300, right? Or oh, you already yeah. jumped to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Nelson. Gunner Nelson. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think I, Yeah, I, I don't understand those odds. I think Barbarina takes this, honestly. Gunner's coming off. Uh, it's been like about a year. Right around a year. He fought last March. Mm -hmm. um, and basically ground and pounded the guy. Uh, just wrestled him three rounds. But didn't. He only went for one submission attempt. You know, Nelson is known for his jiu-jitsu. He used to train uh, Conor McGregor. Yeah, he used to be with the SBG, the same gym as Conor McGregor. He's not with him anymore? I don't think so. I think he's in Iceland. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, I definitely favor Barbarina. Then. But I'm not 100%. Nah, uh, I know. Yeah, I've got jokes. But, okay. but no, I, I saw the odds, and I'm like, dude, this is just worth putting some money on. Yeah. Uh, Gunnar Nelson obviously is good, but he's not a... Minus 300 type of good, yeah. I don't think. And then Barbarina, he lost. Dos Anjos. Yeah, right. but he, beat, he beat Lawler. He beat Brown. Brown. Yeah, weak. So, you know, and he's been active. He's been very active, yes. Yeah. So, I, and and Gunnar Nelson is uh, injury prone, too. So, you know, he's not fully fully good at ever. He looks I've seen he some, good last fight. Yeah, and I saw some, like, post of his. He looks in good shape. But, yeah, you know. Damn, he's lost to some killers, though. No, Burns he's played, he's locked the top uh, guys, Edwards. yes. Yeah, he, there was a rough stretch for him there for a minute. Where, But then you got to think, this was Edwards back in uh, 2019. He was still great, though. He didn't lose for 11 fights in a row now or something. Yeah. So, I, I, I'm going to go out and say Barbarina on this one for me, like I said. Yeah, this one's kind of interesting. Maya and Casey O'Neill. Yeah. I think Maya takes uh, I don't know. O'Neal's undefeated, huh? I don't know. I think O'Neal takes it. She's at home. I don't know. True. I, I just think O'Neal's going to come in hard. Yeah, and she is the bigger girl. Damn, dude. That's not a nice thing to say about <laughs> well, women. No, I'm just saying. The bigger person. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then also should be a banger. This one should be a banger, yes. Marvin Vittori versus Roman Dalite. Eesh. So, so again, Vittori's a big favorite. He's fought killers. Oh, he's only lost to the two top guys. Yeah, so he's, he's lost twice to Adesanya and lost to Whitaker. Mm -hmm. And he went five rounds, all the, you know. Yeah, he's, he hasn't been finished. And then Dolita has only lost once, but he dominated uh, Hermanson, right? Yeah. And I think Hermanson is known to be the grappler, and he, I think he outgrappled him, remember? Yep. And then he had him on the ground and elbowed him. Knocked him out. And he beat Haas. Oh, he's, he's, on a, he's on a great, great streak oh, there. Yeah, yeah, Dark yeah. House. I mean, it's not the same competition Vittori's fought. Mm -hmm. No. But, uh, again, uh, at those odds, I think I'd take the leads. It. I'm, it, I, I still think he wins regardless. And I'm going to put some money on this one. Yeah, I think the leads is a, kind of a good one because he hits hard. He can wrestle. Vittori's well-polished. And, like you said, he's been, he has experience with, mm. you know, the, the champ. So, I don't know. It's a, it's a unique one. But, yeah, Dolly Zizze, Barbarina. I, I'm going to parlay them. Yeah, and then we got yeah. Jack Shore. Needs a win here, definitely. The same thing with Amir Khan. But, um... Oh, Amir both coming off losses. Yeah. They're both very good. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I it's it's the, the main prelim for a reason. Exactly. But these guys, they're both. I think Morales has only lost on once, but he's been looking like a beast. Yep. Oh, no, Who'd he lose to? I don't remember. I know he lost his last fight. He lost to Pierce. I thought he lost his last fight. No, I'm wrong. Oh, no, he did. No, he, he did. lost You're to right. Medic. Medic. Yeah, he got knocked out. I don't remember. 
Okay, and Duncan, I think, is undefeated, right? No, same thing, no. just one loss. No, but it's his debut coming off uh, the Dana White's yeah, Contender Series. Yeah, that's right, we saw him fight, remember? Yeah. He's okay. the dude that got knocked down and then knocked the dude out with one punch. That's him. No, yeah, yeah, he was getting right. he was hurt and then just yeah. landed. Good I remember now, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this might be a rough... A, that was a hell of a knockout. Rough night at the office for Omar Morales. No odds on that one. I think Morales wins. And then, uh, this Muhammad, Sam Patterson. I don't know them. Me neither. You know, we also think I watched, we watched them on, uh, contenders. Contenders. Oh, they're both, they're both contenders. contenders. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember he was the tall, tall guy. It's tall. A, he was zero, zero. I'm yeah. That's what it says right there. I don't remember him. But Mo, Mohammed Mokai and Mokayev, he's yeah. uh Dagestani British. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he's a fucking beast. But no ground impound. So this is what we kind of need to see from him. And then coming in in the FL, Philo. Another... Dude, yeah. the Contender Series is filling filling these cards up. It's crazy. As they should. Yeah. I can't wait for the new season. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, Mokayev should win this one. And then down here is a little and then bit. the earlier premiums. Do I know any of them? I do, I, well, you know Todorovic. Todorovic. Yeah, Todorovic. Probably another debut. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know him. Christian Leroy Duncan. Yeah. So, like, a lot of these are just going to be contender series debuts yeah. and stuff like that. Um, Malcolm Gordon versus Jake Hadley. This should be a funny little little guy fight. Funny. Wow. Because they both rasped. All right, so it's going to be a wrestling match. But they're, like, really fast, you know? Gotcha. Really fast wrestling, all right. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Joanne, nah. Col- Joanne Wood. Well, we know Joanne Wood, but, I mean. Versus Luana. Wait. This both Luana coming off Carolina, of Carolina, Brasileira. Uh, I didn't look too hard into Jai it. Guy Herbert. Guy Herbert, yes, he. Ooh, yeah. I, damn, dude, Veronica Macedo with no chance over there. I don't know how <laughs> disrespectful. She's decent. Pretty good. Yeah, she's not that bad, but. But she has lost a lot. I mean, she's not bad looking. Well, either or. Fuck. But, yeah. No, this no, that's a good was a, that could be a good fight. It could be. Never know. But, yeah. That covers uh, the entire card from top to bottom. Um, obviously, please let us know who you guys think is going to win in the comments section. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. And, of course, what should they do? Comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, hit the little bell notification and we yes, will sir. see and you And check soon. out our other social media. Yeah, uh, everything, sites. yeah. All right. Just bleed.